It's the top match of the day in Italy as Napoli take on Milan. Milan with two of their Dutch stars playing, Van Basten and Rijkaard. No Ruud Hullet. He's out with a persistent knee problem. But so much more talent at the coach's disposal here, including the likes of Imperia's defender Franco Baresi and the up-and-coming Paolo Maldini. Among the subs for Milan, another rising star from the San Siro, Dimitrio Albertini. Really is very much the top fixture in Serie A this afternoon from this so awe-inspiring San Paolo Stadium. Milan, the defending champions, and facing this Napoli side, which includes, of course, the great Diego Maradona, very much the main man for them. He'll tuck in just behind a potent front two of Brazilian Careca and the inform Italian Carnavali. Renica is the spare man at the back behind two markers. And Fusi in midfield there with the left-sided Francini providing the supporting cast for the mercurial Maradona. Coached by Ottavio Bianchi, this Napoli side. In front of a full house in these sumptuous surroundings too. So anxious to avenge last season when they threw it all away so late on, having led the table for most of the season too. Maradona, their architect in chief. And there is the first foul of the game on Kareka. I'll wager that will not be the last. Very much a danger man up front for Napoli. So often in tandem too with Maradona. They have a wonderful understanding. The Argentinian and the Brazilian. This is Kripa. Starting off down the Napoli left. Confronted there by Colombo. And it will be another free kick. Kripa, who was playing in Italy's fourth division just two seasons ago. Really making an name for himself now in Naples. Here's Maradona. And he was it pleaded. He will be such a marked man in this game as he is in every one that he plays. He's a wonderful balance and, of course, outstanding ability. Then Maldini. Worked by Fusi to break it all up. Then Maradona will not be on their way here. Gripper, Kareka. Offside, is he? No, the flag has stayed down. Carnavali bearing down on goal. Kareka in the middle. So too was Kripper who'd arrived on the scene. A real scare then for Milan. Who was suddenly torn wide open by that pulsating counter raid. So nearly caught off guard, the defending champions. Maradona thought he'd run the corner. The referee didn't concur with that opinion. Daring to argue with a great man. He really was a star at the World Cup, though, Maradona. At times you felt he was taking on the opposition single-handedly. Absolutely magnificent. And it was a pleasure to be in the stadiums watching him. Corradini. Here's Carnavali. Always a willing worker up front. Some top class defending them by young Maldini. Baresi. Only 20 Maldini. Matt Bastet just hanging on the shoulder of the defender, but no service this time. Out comes Cripper. Now Renica. Hiro Ferrara. Scudetto winner at the age of 20 in his first full season with Napoli's senior side. He's been at the club since the age of 10. Here's Colombo taking the throw then for Milan. Anxious to get back to winning ways after a fairly sluggish time of late. And we're better to achieve that victory than here in Naples. Viedis. Haven't created too much so far, Milan. Van Basten. 
outmaneuvered again. Working really hard though. That is the Milan game. They're leaving Verdes really as the uh, one out right striker. Van Dassen often tracking back. Just the one goal so far in Serie A from him this season. But he has got five in the European Cup. This is Kripa. Gave that away rather carelessly though. Now it's Costa Corta. Almost straight that through then to Frank Rijkaard. Maradona. Now tackled by Van Basten initially. Now De Napoli. The Italian international. Surely brought down then by Rijkaard. Who this time that challenge. Aided by Ivani. Fernando De Napoli. One of five players in this side who won the title back in 87. Napoli's first ever. Decision going Milan's way. Evani. Now Rijkaard. It's another free kick. It's rather stop start at the moment. Baresi. On by Kripa to Maradona. Now it's Fratrini breaking with Kareka. Look how far they pressed upfield, Miller. Trying to catch them offside, Fratrini. Teresi was heading for the halfway line, but there was no flag, and it's Maradona! It might sink in, it has! They got it horribly wrong at the back, Miller. And Diego Maradona has taken full advantage. Baresi had made a dart for the halfway line. His fellow defenders went with him. And the plan went wrong. Maradona, so quick then to spot the possibilities, so quick to spot the opening. And with the goalkeeper stranded there, Giovanni Galli, he kept his nerve and has given Napoli the lead here. On 42 minutes. The scourge of Milan, he scores against the Rossoneri for the fourth straight season now. His third Serie A goal of this campaign, and it was a beautifully timed run. But just look how far those defenders had strayed upfield. Maybe Costa Curta, who played everybody on, but it was Baresi who led the charge. Well, such a fillet for Napoli, coming as it has towards half-time. And they're on the march again now with Antonio Correca. Brazilian who started in the last World Cup that lets me down there after the build-up Baresi now Colombo almost lazily then stroked upfield by Baresi nowhere near Verdes it's De Napoli the covering defender and boy, does he cover some ground too for this team, but he's being penalised. They might just lose their concentration here. Renica is still arguing with the referee. Ivani. I don't think Renica was even watching the play then. Maybe the referee wants the kick taken. Renica at Maradona upfield. It's a slip then by Baresi. It goes Correca, and it's two! Correcta strikes. What a finale to this first half for Napoli. It's been a real struggle to break Milan down. Now they've done it twice in a matter of minutes. And Baresi was at fault here. Maradona nipping it bravely. Then Correcta to sweep it home. And Milan defensively were all over the place. Normally so well organised. Baresi still protesting about something. Maybe he felt there should have been an offside decision. Perhaps he felt that Maradona handled it. Surely he wouldn't do a thing like that. No, I think they thought it was offside. Not according to the referee. Costa Corta. How's that for a scoreline in Napoli's favour? And there is the half-time whistle. And what an excellent end to the first half it's been then for Napoli in this beating... 
of two leading lights in Serie A. Two goals in the last five minutes of the half, and it's very much Napoli on top now. So Milan kicking off in this second half, and with a lot of work to do now to transform this game. After conceding those two late goals in the first half, two hammer blows for them. Maradona and Kareka. Here's Renica. And he just managed to nudge that back to its goalkeeper there. With Van Basten hovering. Rijkaard with the header. Some leaning in then by Marco Van Basten. On Ferrara. And they've kept it fairly quiet so far. Have Napoli, Marco Van Basten. The second season this with Milan after his move from Ajax. He was affected by a, an ankle injury for much of the last campaign and he got three goals in 11 top flight games. But of course he was a top scorer at last summer's European Championships. Five goals, including that incredible strike in the final against the Soviet Union. Here's Karaka. That Kripat tripped in by Colombo. Well, I thought he was. The referee didn't agree. Now Van Basten knows he's offside. Up the tight call. But no real protest from Marco Van Basten. Then we're in their own half. Really hard working side to go with their undoubted talent. Headed on by Kareka to Maradona. was Fusi. It's a good ball as well. Now Carnavali has got Correcca up with him and Francini here. And Francini scores. It's 3-0. Just three minutes into the second half and once again Milan defensively had no response. A wonderful ball then from Luca Fusi. Carnavali a judge to be onside. He's got Francini there to his right. Kareka was steaming in as well, only palmed out by Galli, and it was straight into the path of Fraccini. And that is a measure of how quickly they do break from the back. This is the fullback, Fraccini, from Carnivale. As his shot is tipped away there, Fraccini has come racing all the way through from the back. Milan making a change. And this is Minari, Graziano Minari, only 19. Played just once in Serie A during Milan's championship season. And I think Napoli are going to make a switch as well. That's Canonante wearing 14. Colombo's gone off there for Milan. Canonante was a left back by trade. Up through the youth ranks with Napoli. Taking over from midfielder Luca Fusi. He hasn't really made a breakthrough as yet, Canonante. Native Neapolitan. Van Basten. It'll fall here for Ivani. A good strike as well, and a fabulous stop there by Giuliani. He hasn't had a great deal to do in this game, but he was really alert then, really alive. As that shot whistled through from Ivani. Costa Curta. One of the few moments in this game when Milan have really threatened the Napoli goal. They might do so again here. There's Ivani with the shot. And Francini smuggling it back to his goalkeeper. Doing good work at both ends of the field then, Francini. Looks exhausted, no wonder. Took over from the great Antonio Caprini at left back for Italy for a while. Although recently he's lost his place to Milan's Maldini. That was Rijkaard. Well, is there any way back? Milan, remember, haven't lost away in Serie A for a year and a half now, not since they were beaten by Napoli here. Riker. Linking with Ivani. Now, was that a trip inside the box? Maldini came marauding forward, and it is a penalty. So, some hope here for Milan.
No question it was a foul, certainly in the box. No hesitation from the referee and no real complaint, although Maradona wants to say something about it now, a little belatedly. Midway through the second half, it is Verdes who will take this kick. Pietro Paolo Verdes. Four goals in Serie A so far this season. He got a hat-trick on the opening day and a win over Fiorentina. Can he throw his team a lifeline here? All eyes on Verdes. And it's well taken too. 3-1. They are back in it. Verdes, who scored twice in the championship decider here last season, has struck again. Well, it's still a long way back, but at least now a glimmer of hope. Sending the keeper the wrong way. Beautifully placed in the corner then from Verdes. Same angle, same outcome. And Arrigo Saki's team are at least making a match of this. A man who came from Como a couple of months ago to join Milan. Here's Francini, one of Napoli's scorers today. Up front is Correca, who's got one as well, and he's on his way here now. Antonio Correca makes it four. It's a beautiful finish. Well, he's hot at the moment. A hat trick last week against Juventus. And two more today. And Arrigo Saki's team are back in deep trouble again. Again, they push so far upfield. Fasotti struggling here to stay with Correca. Only one thought on his mind. Perfectly balanced to deliver. Beyond goalkeeper Galli. Onside as he raced away. Fasotti couldn't get to it. And it was perfectly angled into the corner. Napoli's 20th goal now in their opening seven league games. Rekha upping his personal tally to seven now in the league this season. And it's five in two games. And against two powerhouses too in Juventus and now Milan. He's got four in the three games he's played against Milan for Napoli. Rijkaard. This is Manari, the teenager chasing. Making life awkward too then for Renica. But nothing on for Van Basten, who's been rather lightweight today in truth. They really haven't had their normal fluency. The kind of cohesion that took them to the title last season in such impressive style. The start is free kick. Now it's Ivani. Frank Rijkaard. We've seen an awful lot of the ball, but hasn't necessarily done too much with it. Van Basten being forced out wide. And that's Francini to clear. Napoli just running out tight now. Moussi. The home fans preparing for a party. Rijkaard, and then Ivani. And once again, it's Paolo Maldini stepping up. Then Van Basten. Didn't really have that much conviction, though, about him. They have been very much second best today. And certainly one or two heads drooping, as you can see. Napoli content now just to sit back and soak this up, knowing the points are secure. Tassotti with Baresi. Here comes Kureka. Maradona is through the centre. Di Napoli. Chopped out by Baresi. Clearly floored it, in full flow then to Napoli. One of many, many outstanding players for Napoli this afternoon. Guess who's going to take the free kick? 
There's no time, Diego. He won't fight too much. It's sweet revenge for Napoli. And as they enhance their early title challenge at the expense of the team that eclipsed them for last season's Scudetto. 4-1, it's a complete reversal, indeed, of the defeat suffered by Napoli in Milan's fortress, the San Siro, last season. So there we are, they are now two points behind Inter at the top. And look at Milan down in eighth place after this heavy defeat.